of all the topics we present on television news, all the things we cover, weather is the one that every single person who watches can relate to because they have to go outside. A Doppler 10 weather alert, a flash flood warning when another round of strong storms with high winds arrive. Despite all of the internet and even the weather channel, I think when local weather hits, people want to see local TV news. Good afternoon, everybody. Chris Bradley here with the Doppler 10 weather alert. I want to bring you up to date on the severe weather moving across the area. We had the warm front. Well, I mean, the National Weather Service is, uh, is really an important tool um, that we use. I mean, we use the same information as the National Weather Service, the same computer models. We have our own radar but we'll use their radar too. I mean, you know, so we're looking at the same sorts of things, but the Weather Service in Wilmington, they're the folks that issue the warnings. And uh, so they're the people who we are in very close uh, conversation with about, you know, when warnings will be issued, when we need to alert the public. We're using them for information, but they are relying on us to get the information out. A disturbance moving across the Ohio Valley will produce light snow tonight. Weak high pressure will build in from the west on Wednesday. The one thing about weather data is a lot of people are interested in it and there's a, there's a huge spectrum of use of it and a huge spectrum of knowledge and interpretation. Whether it's the Weather Channel or your local television meteorologist. The, and, and, and that's a relationship that we have to take seriously because without their voice, a lot of what we do doesn't get broadcast. And just, you know, we need them. We need them to take our products and, and put a life to them and put a message to them about what the threats are going to be for the, their viewers and their area. You know, we, you know, we work together. We may not always agree 100% on the forecast. They may have a different spin than we do. But nine times out of 10, I'll present their thoughts to our viewers and say, you know, the Weather Service is thinking this is going to go north of 70, that, that rain snow line. I think it might stay south. And we'll see who's right, but at least we get that information out. And I, I think they do a tremendous job.